Hello and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, I'm Nurse Alyssa and today we're going to be going over the Zip Zoc. It's a zinc impregnated stocking. But first, if you could hit that subscribe button, it would be greatly appreciated as it truly does help my channel grow. So let's get started. So Zipzoc is a 20% zinc oxide impregnated stocking and it is preservative free. So indications for use. So this is used for chronic eczema or dermatitis where occlusion is indicated. It may be used in conjunction with appropriate compression therapy. Um, precautions, so we're going to discontinue use if there is new redness, itchiness, or if a wound starts. OK, not if there was already a wound present, because we do use this for venous leg ulcers. But if we have a new wound start, we want to stop this. Um, so any deterioration of the wound, we're going to notify either the wound clinician or ordering physician. If we're using Anticoke Flex 3 or 7, we want to make sure that we have a gauze interface um, to prevent the paste emulsifier from coming in contact with the dressing. Um, contraindications, so we're not going to use for any clients who have sensitivity to zinc oxide or any other product ingredients. We're not going to use in the presence of an uncontrolled infection. So as long as the infection is being treated, we can use this product. And we're not going to use this um, for patients with arterial ulcers or who are arterial compromised, okay? So who have those who have um, problems with the blood flowing to the limb, we cannot use this for. So to apply this dressing, first we're going to wash or shower the legs with warm water and pat them dry. Okay, next we're going to slip the foot into the stocking and draw up on the stocking to just below the knee. So I normally say two to three fingers just below the knee. Um, and then if there's any excess, you're just going to fold it over on top of itself to go downward. Um, and then you're just going to take your hands and just smooth it out to firmly be on the leg so it go it kind of molds into the leg and then you're going to either wrap the leg with cling in a loose spiral or secure it with tape and a mesh um, or use your compression system at this time. So to remove this dressing we're just simply going to put our finger down and under lift it up lift it up and get your scissors in there and cut and then keep moving your finger down and cutting because we don't want to cause trauma to the skin with our scissors so i always make sure to have a finger in there lifting it up before cutting frequency of dressing change so we're going to change this at least once a week or if the stocking starts to slip and fall down okay um, expected outcome is that the eczema or dermatitis is resolved within two weeks if we're using this with compression therapy um, we have more chances at first of it starting to slip so um, after a few days it once the legs are um, getting tinier and that edema is going down it does tend to start slipping so for the first week or so you might have that issue so that's all I have for this video. I hope you did find it helpful for your daily practice. And if you haven't done so already, smash that subscribe button as it truly does help my channel. And I'll catch you all in my next video. See you guys.